I'm very excited to announce Clean Pro version 80 is now released and I've introduced a brand new module. Now, if you are updating from a much earlier version of Clean Pro, you'll want to watch this tutorial all the way through because there's something very specific that you'll need to do at the end to make sure that none of your fonts, in the case that you are using the older Clean Pro default font, um, doesn't get messed up. So definitely stick around if you're jumping from versions earlier from version 79. If you already updated to version 79 and you're just jumping to 80, you're totally in the clear. You don't have to worry about doing this again. Before we jump in, let me share with you that we are now in open beta for Awesome AI, I'm super excited about this. We have really added a ton of awesome features um, that I'm truly excited about and I've been using myself. It's been really, really, really cool. So we do have a free 30 day trial if you want to sign up and kick the tires and give this a try. Okay, that is enough of my shameless plug. Let me show you what is up with Clean Pro version 88. Most notably, a new module called Flexi Tabs. Now this is super cool because what Flexi Tabs allows you to do is essentially create a tab structure that can work with any of the clean modules um, that you want to, well, create tab content for. So for example, features, this is actually two different magic modules stacked on one another. Pricing, this is the pricing table module. And support, I think that's using the VersaCards module. My point is, it's actually really cool that you, now you can create this tab structure and not be bound by one single module and some simple column settings. You can actually get super creative with the way that you use this. So I'm gonna quickly show you the insides and a couple other cool style features so that you can get excited and start playing with this. The one thing I will mention is in the module, I will have like a full in-depth tutorial. I'm not gonna cover everything here. It's very important you watch this because there's a little bit to the setup process so that it can actually work with the other modules. So one cool thing I do wanna show you is under the styles tab. What I've done is I've built in a couple different tab styles. We're currently using the simple underline. So if I do the tab style, you're gonna see this little flavor right here. And then if we do the button style, we're gonna have something that's a little bit more synonymous to a button. Now, of course you have full control where you can go in and add your fonts, colors, border widths, and cool things of that nature so that you can really bring this home. Now this module is, like I said, in beta. So if you have any feedback or things that you think could improve it or catch a bug here or there, please do let me know. You can just jump over to the contents tab and submit an idea or a bug using that link. That would be super helpful. Okay, now on to if you are jumping from version 78 of Clean or before, this is what you wanna know. So. Essentially, with this uh, larger update since version 79, you'll notice that we are using a brand new default font. And that's what I want to talk to you about so that if you are using the older default font, we can make sure that you can keep those on your website. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna come to the edit and then edit your theme settings. And there's a few things in here which you just wanna go through and address. The first thing is going under start here, and you want to take a look at the heading font. Now, if you are using the default font, it'll probably say able. So what you wanna do is you just wanna go select any other font and then select the able font again. And you're gonna to wanna to repeat this process for the body font as well. Once you have that done, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and go back. Whoops. Wanna go back and go into the typography section. And you just wanna spot check the other options of font styles. Now, if you happen to see this little tiny recycle icon, that actually means you already have a setting for the font, meaning your the default fonts won't suddenly overwrite this. So this little icon is actually what you want to see. Um, so that's one good thing to check. So definitely go through all of your different typography, just look for that little icon and make sure that that's there. Again, this is only if you're utilizing the older 
theme default fonts of Able, and I think it was Roboto. Now, there's one other quick setting that you will want to address, and that is under the layouts section, and then style options. So the new content width, uh, standard width, is set to 1440. I believe it was 1140 or 1280 before. So if you want to keep your other um, standard content width, just come on in here, change it to whatever you want, or increment it up, and then put it right back so you get this little icon, and then go ahead and publish the theme settings. Once you've done that, you are super safe to go through and um, install the latest updates. At any rate, I hope you are having a great day. I hope you enjoy this update. Again, I'm excited for you to start playing with the Flexi Tabs module. If you have any questions, feel free to drop a comment below or reach out to me. As always, have a great day. Bye.